Hey everyone, I'm Phil. I'm a filmmaker, storyteller, general creative, and a second year medical student. And I have eight weeks until I have to take step one. So welcome to this step one vlog. If you haven't noticed already, I think I'm gonna try to publish on a schedule of Thursdays and Sundays. So Thursdays I'll do my step one vlog, and then Sunday will be like a mix of either, I don't know, my bouldering vlogs or um, like a music cover or something like that, or something different. Last week's video was 15 minutes long. Um, thank you for the 45 people who watched it. Um, this week I'm gonna try to do it in under five minutes because I'm really busy and I need to do a lot of studying. Okay, so looking at um, flashcards, I have 74 due cards, I have 1,406 overdue cards, and 11,620 unseen cards. So I've slipped a little bit, but that's okay. It happens. I've been doing a lot more UWorld questions, so that's been taking a lot of my time. Uh, on UWorld, I have uh, 367 used questions and 2,502 unused questions. Um, yeah, so those are the study updates. So mental well-being check, I am doing pretty well. I think that things are just moving very quickly. It's already um, eight weeks out until I have to take this test. But at the same time, things are moving quickly in terms of school. Like school things are slowly wrapping up. We're in our last block. Um, we're taking our second to last exam um, this weekend. We have, uh, we just finished our last standardized patient session for doctoring. So that's like the last of standardized patients in terms of second year, which is like a huge, huge, big deal. Um, the last two sessions were really fun, um, really informative cases. Um, you know, one was like delivering bad news and kind of figuring out palliative care conversations. And the last one that we just did this week was um, working with trans folks with um, specific health problems. And also two days ago, I just submitted my um, preferences for um, my third year rotation schedule. And I think just doing that made it very, very uh, real feeling that in about three months, I'm gonna be on the clinical floors and that is such a huge deal and it definitely makes me so so excited to study the best that I can so that I know as much as I can going into my first rotation. Life updates, still reading um, on the way to school or just in between study cards or uh, UWorld blogs. I'm still reading 1Q84, still very fantastic. Um, it's starting to get a little bit interesting. I haven't hit the like inciting incident yet, but so far, keep coming back to it. I watched Midsommar recently and I thought it was fantastic. It's by Ari Aster, um, the person who made Hereditary, if you've heard of it, came out last year. I thought it was a fantastic movie. Um, it's my kind of horror movie and it's like the kind of insidious, insidious dread that kind of creeps, on, creeps up on you instead of kind of like cheap jump scares and loud noises. Like I hate that kind of horror movie. I love the ones that kind of get under your skin and you know exactly what's coming, I suppose, but it's like this feeling of unsettled, unsettledness that ah, just like that kind of shock is, oh, I love it so much. So many parts of amazing visual delight that I liked. There's a scene early on where there's this, um, uh, a tracking shot from the living room going into a bathroom but like it was like it went into a top overview like taxi driver like point of view shot and it like wiped from oh i can't even explain it no no i'm sorry no you're fine i'm gonna just go to the bathroom thank you the only thing that i didn't like about it is that I don't know, I'm all for body horror and grotesqueness. I think John Carpenter's The Thing is like one of the greatest pieces of horror ever. Um, but there's something about this filmmaker's use of using body horror that comes from incest or uh, genetic defects to elicit a throwaway feeling of, of, of horror and disgust and, or as a symbolism for evil or unholiness that just seems pretty cheap and 
very superficial. This person looks classically uh, unattractive and disfigured. Um, therefore, something bad must be going on, or I'm supposed to feel um, unease. Both in Hereditary and Midsommar, um, both have children with kind of body disfigurement. Um, I don't know, it just feels a little stigmatizing. So that's like what I didn't really like about it. But otherwise, super entranced. Love this visual style, love the whole tone and pacing. I would definitely recommend it. My parents sent me some early gifts and they sent me uh, the Blu-ray version of Parasite and the Blu-ray Criterion Collection version of Roma. And I'm super stoked about these, um, you know, Parasite won Best Picture at the Oscars amongst many other awards and Roma um, came out a while ago on Netflix. Um, but it just has this amazing, gorgeous, gorgeous black and white style and cinematography and has like one of the best female protagonists um, in cinema. Um, I'm particularly interested in seeing the documentary special features on Alfonso Coron's process and his method, um, how his inspiration translated into the final product. I wanna see the production design notes and the sound design notes and just essentially all the the deconstruction of this marvelous piece of work. Um, there's this hypnotizing cinematography, these long one takes that have this dreamy 180 kind of panning effect that's super effective and super immersive and I just want to see both the technical side of how those were accomplished and also thematically how those came about. And lastly, I was successful in doing some collaborations with some of my med school classmates. Did some covers over the weekend and that was pretty sweet. I'm going to edit those and hopefully release them a little bit later as I go into Dedicated. Um, I'm reaching out to a couple more friends. Hopefully more people will be down to just hang out and uh, play instruments or sing songs. It's really recentering for me and it's like it's so nice to just like uh, share space with someone and create really and just like use a different part of my mind. Um, it's definitely a very rare thing to do in med school to to nurture those creative skills and talents and that that energy but wherever I can I'm happy to to, to nourish that and make that happen. All right, I think that does it for me. I hope this was under five minutes, but I won't be able to tell until I put it into Adobe Premiere right after this. But, you know, regardless, thank you so much for your continued support and your viewership and your just your, your ears and eyes. <laughs> that came out so strangely. But anyway, I'm grateful for you all. Uh, look out for the next video on Sunday. It's gonna be a music cover. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay strong. Sending you light, warmth, love. Keep at it. See ya.